Okay, uh, so let's talk about the second type of the uh, most commonly used Rust data analysis, which is called calculate the distance. Um, so basically, it will calculate. Um, actually, you can define define different type of distance. Um, so we will say example later in ArcGIS Pro. So we can calculate the distance from a source or set of resource uh, sources. So it can be a single place or it can be multiple locations. So basically, when you have the uh, the source, the ArcGIS Pro will create a Rust data and also calculate the distance from uh, each source. So, for example, the first ring will be five meters. Um, the second ring will be t ten meters from the source. The third ring will be fifty meters, and also twenty meters. So something like that. Uh, so it is similar to the buffer analysis. Okay, uh, for the vector data. So, but in uh, for the Rust data, so the way to do something similar is called calculate the distance. Okay, uh, so let's see one example. So let's say we are going to use uh, this one that is above 500. So that is the one tiny uh, uh, place. So that area that is above 500. And let's go to the Rust function and let's find out distance. Okay, calculate distance. And you can see that there are a lot of different type of distance that we can do. So we can calculate the cost distance um, or the other type of distance that you want. So let's try this one. Um, Euclidean distance. So that will calculate to the full extent, okay, which it finds. Full extent is the default extent that of your project. Uh, so let's say we want to choose above 500 as a source. And uh, you can define the maximal distance. However, let's just leave it that as default. Okay. Uh, you can also define the berries. So let's just also leave that one as without berries. Cell size, everything. Let's just leave everything as default. And let's create a buffer. All calculating the distance. And now we can see we have this uh, result. So that is a distance that away from the above 500. So let's put that one here. And also you can see this is center. So it's kind of buffer. Uh, let's change the distance color. So go to appearance. Uh, let's use classified. OK. Uh, let's use a different color. So. Um, Okay, here we go. Okay, um, so you can see within the it's it's short when it is shorter, so that is um, the, a different color, so far away from the the source. And I believe the the unit is in meter as we uh, so here we can see that we choose meters, so I believe the unit is in meter. Uh, we can also do something that's similar as overlay analysis as uh, for the vector data. For example, if you remember the intersect, something like that. And we can do similar uh, for Rust data. So on Rust data, uh, we can do the mathematical overlays. So that means that we can do the cell by cell calculation. So for example, here we are using a plus. So we have two input raster. So input one. We can do a cell by cell plus. So cell one plus zero. So in the result, it will be one. Okay, and one plus one in the result output, it will be two. Okay, so that is a cell by cell uh, calculation. And you can, of course, do other mathematical calculation like minus, divide, etc. However, if you have no data in one layer, and the output will be no data. Okay, so for example, here, on the second input, and there's no data on this cell, so that this cell on output will have no data. Uh, we can also do some Boolean overlays, okay? Uh, so that we can use those Boolean operators and all uh, etc. Um, so here we see that if we are using and operators, so that means if both input are true, 
which means if both input are above zero, and the output will be true. So that will be uh, one. So here we can see for the first uh, cell, uh, not all layers have zero so that all layer above zero so this one has zero so the output is zero and for this cell so both uh, rust data have a value that is one so that above zero so that the, the output is one okay and uh, again for the no data so the result will still be no data so if there's one cell if there's one input has a no data on that cell so the corresponding output will be no data. And we can also do the relational overlays. So for example, that uh, in this case, we have one input. We see that we are going to see that if uh, the, the cell has value that is greater than two. OK. And, and in this case, or less than two, sorry, less than two. In this case, we can see this cell is less than two. So the result is one. Um, this cell is less than two, the result is one. However, this cell is not less than two, so the result is zero. And this cell is also not less than two, the result is zero. And also no data, the cell that has no data, the output is also no data. Okay, and I think that's pretty straightforward, but let's do something, um, try some examples. So here, let's say we go to the Rust functions, and if you go to the mass, okay, so hopefully now those mass will make sense to you. So uh, you can see you can choose conditional logic or you can choose calculate, okay? Uh, they have some predefined functions, um, but let's say we just want to use arithmetic. Okay, let's click arithmetic. Uh, let's say we want to use above 500 and also a uh, reclass of a DM because those two are uh, relatively simple. So let's say above 500 and let's say reclassified and let's use a plus. Okay, let's use plus. Okay. Okay, so let's use plus. So on this one, so we can see um, 0, 1, 2 and on this one, we only have 1. OK, so now let's see the result. OK, I think the result is pretty obvious because the only overlapped part is this one. And now we can see the result is three. OK, so it's pretty straightforward. OK, uh, let's you can try the others like uh, the others times, etc. all the calculators. Uh, so let's try one more. So let's try grid or equal then and this time let's say we want to use this one uh, residential so we see okay so residential that is great all equal than 500 so here we are compare okay so we find out on this raster so that we have value 2 and that is great or equal then on this this raster that we have value 1 okay and now remember that if uh, there are no data on both inputs the output will be uh, no data so we are only identifying that the intersected part the overlaid part uh, let's create and now we have the result so that is this tiny part okay because this part on the first layer has value 2, on the second layer has value 1. So that is a positive, so that is 1. Okay, so let's remove those results.